Hello Vlogineers, today we're going to unbox and demo KiwiCo Eureka Crate. This is a monthly subscription box that teaches you how to build cool things. And if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. And this time, we're making a stereo headphone. Yeah, where you plug it in and you can listen. This is for ages 14 and up. We're going to be learning about sound and engineering. Okay, so first there's the maker's guide on how to build the headphones and also they tell you a bit of information on how it was made. Yeah, so the first page is what's in the booklet. It's just a quick overview. And over here is the contents of everything in this Eureka crate. So we'll be going through this in a bit. They also have the building stats. The key components are speaker, drivers, and audio jacks. The skills we'll need are electronics and listening. The complexity is low. Oh, this is the first Eureka crate that's low. Yeah, so it and should it be easy. I think of all the Eureka crates we've done so far, the estimated time for this should be the shortest. And there's also only three building parts. Yeah. Part A is the headband. I'll show you that. And the headband is what holds the speakers on our ears. Part B is, part B is, is the, the speaker. Speakers. And finally, part C is connecting the speaker. Now for the unboxing, here is a foam pad and a fabric sleeve. These are the speaker housing, and there's also connectors in here. These are the ear pads. They're pretty small, I guess. That's how ear big pads. people's ears. Oh, so that's, they'll go right here. Or something like that. We'll figure it out. I think the big slots are. We have to be careful not to rip it. The headband. Is this big enough? Yeah. No, for a head. No. Ouch. We're going to put the pads though, so we're fine. Ooh. And plus your head is just extra big. Speaker drivers. Over here are the hex drivers and screws. What? Hex driver screws and sticky foam sheets. Some yes, I don't think there's zip ties this time, and there's not much wood. That's a lot. Usually oh, there's a whole ton of wood, but this is very little. I think this looks pretty easy. Yeah, okay, so I think compared to the other Eureka crates that we've done, we've done a lot, by the way. All right, well, that's the, the last unboxing. Step is, so now we're going to do part A, which is build the headband, which is 17 steps. And this will hold the speakers on our ears. Okay. For step one, we just need these two things. And we slide it together. All right, I got it. And this, as you can see, can bend pretty easily. Um, now we grab one of these and we just slide it. Can I do it? No. Yeah, see, this looks pretty small so far, but it'll probably work. Don't out. underestimate Eureka Crate. What? It's looking like a headband, but not not really yet. And this there's no way this is fitting my head. Okay, so from here we stick it here and here. Oh, step six. Okay. Wood. We're gonna do woodwork for the next, pretty much the rest so of the part. So hard to... This is, ow! Sorry. This is the end of step six. That was uh, easy. Yeah, that was easy. Step yeah. seven, the wood side faces out, so the foam faces in. In the meantime, I'm going to start step nine, which is basically, wait, no, yeah, step nine is two. Working on the same side. So we have completed one of the two sides of this headband. Is that what it's called? Uh -huh. And now we do the other side. We're on step 12 out of 17. No, 13. Step 13. Is it? No. Yeah, or, step yeah. 14. 14. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. And lastly, uh, hey, we already finished oh, that. Oh, dang, page. step 16 is big. No, it's not that big. Here. I need to expand it or else. Hey, hey, I already got it. I Hurry, hurry. No, I already got oh, it. Okay, hurry. Right. No, I already got it. Are you it. sure that's the right one? It, there's only one kind, okay? Hurry. Hurry. Well, Okay. I can't hold it together like this. We need to screw it on. Okay, not bad. Uh, the two sides are... I don't know how this will ever be a regular head uh, like that. Speaker driver. Alright, so in the next part we're going to be making the speakers which is how we're able to hear the sound because right now we have the headband but we don't have the speakers the which means part. that if we were to wear this it wouldn't do anything and also we don't have the muffly headphones yet that's the speaker now we're going to do part b build the speakers no these are the parts good. that make the sound and I think the key part of the speaker is going to be these red things. All right, so brother did not follow directions. Uh, it says, before you start, be careful when handling the speaker drivers. The plastic membrane on the front can be damaged easily, so avoid touching it. So hopefully brother didn't damage it. But if he did, then... <sighs> Part C, connect the speakers. This is so that we can wear them on our head because we have these two very nice ear things and we have a headset. Oh, so yeah. That we just need to link it together. And also, they say that we need a chair, but we already kind of have a chair here. Oh, that actually fits. And if you need a bigger. Bigger. This is not easy at all. I don't know why. The... It's more like medium or hard. Okay, so here is the headphone, the completed headphone. Yeah. We managed to plug both in, but it. it yeah, our dad this... cost a lot of me. Yeah, and now this is how we're going to use our headphones. So we have to grab an electronic device. It can be a computer, phone, or anything with a headphone Grab jack. your phone. Okay, then we need to plug in our headphones to listen to music, movies, books, on tape, anything we want. And there's also a volume switch over here. So I guess in addition to the phone volume switch, you can also use this. There's a high and a low. So first we're gonna do the sound experiments. But I know you guys cannot listen, but we're just gonna try I it. Try it first, since I put in the first headphone jack. Thing. Hold on. First, we go to eurekacratecom slash headphones. All right, so we're on eurekacratecom slash headphones, and... Can we oh, plug ready? This in? Ready for the audio test? Yeah, can you plug it in? Oh, let me plug it in. Okay, so you should be able to hear a tone in your left ear, and then a tone in your right ear, okay? So left ear comes first. Okay. Put Ready? There we go. It's playing. Do you hear something? No. <laughs> oh no. What? Are you kidding? Uh, no, I'm not kidding. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, maybe because of this. It's on low. I'll put it medium. Ready? Let's try again. <laughs> Oh, I can hear something. Yes, finally. Whoa! Okay, I want to hear. Okay, so low means that you cannot hear anything. Right. High means that you can hear something. Careful. High. Go. Then high. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. 
goes boo, and then switches to the right ear and boo. No, it goes both. Huh? It goes both. So that is the audio test. Now step three, we're gonna play audio clip one. Whoa! Close your eyes and listen. Can you hear where the sounds are coming from? Yes. All right, and that is the stereo headphones. Now these headphones were supposed to be a lot cooler because there was supposed to be a left and right sound. However, in the process, we probably broke something or did something wrong, and we reassembled and disassembled them many times, but they still aren't working as they're supposed to. However, we can still hear audio. It's just not coming from left versus right. So these headphones do work, but if we had done it correctly, it would have been a lot better. Brother, what did you think about this? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, but uh, they did say the complexity is easy and I do not think it's easy. It's more like a medium or a hard. Yeah. Yeah. So compared to the other Eureka crates, I didn't like this one as much because uh, there was a lot of strength requirements and stuff like that. But if we had, <sighs> yeah, I guess if we had paid more attention to the directions that, oh, maybe because I touched the thing on accident, I don't know. See, that's the thing. We're really not sure what went wrong. But we still highly recommend Eureka Crate because all the other ones are really fun. And this was fun too. You do get a cool headphone in the end. And if you get it, chances are you're not gonna mess up like us. And that is the stereo headphones. This was pretty fun, but it would be even cooler if it worked out well. Right, brother? Yeah. All right, so we'll see you in the next episode. And if this looks interesting to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. And we highly recommend that you get KiwiCo Eureka Crate. Bye.